Geno DeShields and Fred McGriff on the right side. Steins pull off the line at third. Walker 90 feet away, and Griffey trying to put a hurting on John Lieber. Swings and bounces foul at first base, strike one. Among the five wins that Lieber had against the Reds last season, you might well remember one of them. He shut him out on May the 24th, 3-0. The significance of that game was the fact that it snapped the Reds' 208 consecutive game streak of not being shut out. Griffey taking a ball just away, 1-1. Those 208 games mark the most in National League history and the third in Major League history of consecutive games scoring at least a run. Pitch inside, 2-1 and one on Griffey. Todd Walker, blooped the double a left. Larkin, good job getting the fly ball to right to advance the runner in the 2-1. Junior swinging, sending a fly ball back into left field. That'll get it done. Roosevelt Brown backs and makes the catch. Walker tags. He comes home. First run of the year. Reds lead 1-0. Ken Griffey Jr. with a sacrifice fly to left, and Walker scores easily. Sean Casey, the two-out batter. Casey worked with a personal trainer all spring, all off-season, I should say. One to nothing, hoping to make it two, at least, the pitch that's inside of all. for the windup and Griffey takes again inside. Two balls, no strikes. Over last year in 232 innings walked just 41 batters. He delivers swinging a foul. Big cut by Griffey and it's two and one. Bluffs, Iowa, now makes his home in Mobile, Alabama. He's back with the 2-1. That's Lord inside. A breaking ball as Junior checks his swing. And 3-1 and one now to Griffey. They were ready with the 3-1. And Griffey swings and misses. That pitch down and in, and the ball and Junior not happy with himself. But a full count. Murphy backs away from the plate. Now settles back in. Walker at third base with one out. Infield is in. Lieber delivers the payoff, and that swung on and bounced to second and now they got Walker in a rundown. Hundley with the ball. He'll flip it to Steins and Steins will tag Walker and Hamilton sets and delivers and Hundley swings and lifts a very high fly ball to center. Junior to the warning track and against the fence he makes the catch tagging and heading for second as Gonzalez he's in but he hit that was the longest part of the old ballpark. Todd Hundley did. But with one away, Chris Stein's the batter. Chris walked in the second. Pitcher John Lieber to the on-deck circle. A stretch the pitch, swung on, and that's hit into center field. Junior on the run, he won't get toward uh, two of the three runs that have been scored today. He wakes and swings and hits it in the air. Shallow center, the second baseman going in the Reds. Osborn, the stretch and the pitch, and Junior looks at it, low and outside, ball one. One and all. Osborn to the belt. The pitch, low and inside. 
Two balls, no strikes to Griffey. Osborne sets the 2-0 and there's a swing and a miss, a big cut by Griffey and it's a 2-1 count. Checking with Hundley and now a step back by Osborne. Larkin leads it first. Again the stretch. And the 2-1 delivery. And that gets the outside corner for a called strike. And the count evens two and two. two strikes Larkin at first base nobody out four to two Reds lead it Osmer in the stretch and Griffey backs away from the plate John Casey on deck now a right hander throwing in the Chicago bullpen Kyle Franzworth he gets it up there in a hurry Osborne delivers and Junior takes in the dirt a breaking ball and a full count now to Griffey. So let's see if they'll have Larkin running. Three balls, two strikes. and ready with a payoff. He'll throw over to first with Larkin stepping back. Griffey back into the batter's box. Osborne shakes off a sign. Now he sets. And it's swung on and fouled as Larkin stays at home. Three balls, two strikes. Osborne has his sign. A look at Larkin. And it's swung on and hit along the left field line. Brown, a long run for this, and that'll drop in foul territory. Well, stays three and two. Getting back to the plate. Two strikes with Larkin at first base. Four to two Reds lead it. Griffey settles back into the batter's box. Donovan Osmer, the lefty, has his sign the stretch. And delivers. And Junior swings and fouls us from straight back. Another good cut by Griffey. New baseball for Osmond. He rubs it up as he walks around to the left of the mound. And now back and on to the pitching rubber. Osmond again the stretch. He delivers and Junior fouls it back one more time. count to Junior. Again, Osmond shakes off a sign from Huntley. Now the stretch. And 
and the pitch. There goes Larkin. The pitch is swung on and missed. And stretching the pitch. In the air, center field, routine. Junior tracking it. Fields to take a base hit away from him on a diving stop in the sixth inning. Here's a stretch by Passero in the pitch. Dunn takes it low a ball. So twice today, the Reds have had two run leads, and they've not been able to hold either one of them. The big error by Encarnacion to begin the top of this eighth inning paved the way for two unearned runs for the Cubbies, and Encarnacion will bat after we find out what Adam Dunn does. One ball, no strikes. Pitch. That's too low and inside. 2-0 and the count. Left-hander sights the side from Machado, dealing. And Dunn starts to go around, and that's a strike. 270th Major League Relief appearance today for Fisaro. And pitched pretty well. 19 and 19, 22 saves, a 317 relief ERA. Dunn is hit by the pitch. So there is the go-ahead run if the Reds can get him around. Adam Dunn hit by the pit first. He reached on a fielder's choice and scored in the third. And he's 0 for 3 officially. Last time up, he struck out in the seventh inning against another left-hander and Donovan Osborne. Now he gets Passero. Larkin with a winning run at first. Passero pitches and Griffey takes strike. Jose Cardinal, the Reds' new first base coach, with a word for Larkin. Tim Foley over at third. Don Baylor, hands in jacket pockets, standing in the dugout. One strike and nothing on Junior. Tie game in the bottom of the ninth. Inside corner, strike two call. Junior was leaning out away from the pitch, and John Shulock says strike. pitch. Breaking ball that started in and Junior was bleeding back away from it. It broke back out over the plate. So Fasero in the driver's seat with a count of nothing and two. He had two batters in the eighth inning and the Reds were unable to take advantage of it. The big play after the leadoff batter Taylor was hit by a pitch. He was thrown out stealing. Swung on line drive right field base hit. Here's Larkin going to second. He'll stop there. So Junior hangs out a frozen rope on an 0-2 pitch. He singles to right, and it'll be Sean Casey with a base hit to win the ball game. Casey looks for his third hit. He's knocked in a run. 